this is the SQL Server uh, Index Maintenance module, and um, in this video, I will demonstrate uh, how the fragmentation happened in the SQL Server. So I will use the SQL Server Management Studio, and I will uh, implement these steps. First, I will create a table with the name of products, and this table ha will have the two columns, one with the worker uh, uh, of 4,000 bytes, and the other one is the integer column which is the index which will be the index key column it will have the product id name and it uh, an integer is taking four bytes so cluster after that uh, i will create a cluster index on this uh, table and uh, then i will create uh, uh, index uh, when i will create the cluster index on this product id column then the this index structure will maintain the data on the leaf level uh, according to the uh, this product ID it will sort the records according to the product ID and then after that I will insert some records 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and um, there is a missing record between uh, 5 and 7 6 is missing so after creation this after insertion this record I will study the logical orders and the physical orders of this index structure and then I will add the, this missing record, insert uh, the record number six. Uh, then the, I will see how uh, the index structure will maintain this record, how the index structure will act uh, upon after adding this record. Um, so is the I will study again the logical and physical order and I will uh, see there is the logical fragmentation and the uh, internal fragmentation. So all these steps uh, I will implement using the SQL Server Management Studio. So let's move to the SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the SQL Server Management Studio, and uh, I have already created one database. I will delete this database. I will recreate. This is the database. I will recreate so that from the beginning we have to check what is going on so by using the master database i will create the trading db in this trading db i will create a table products and this table i'm using since beginning of uh, the uh, this module and um, i will use uh, i will create two columns in this table item id which is a type integer and uh, it will be the uh, index column, cluster index column, and description column, which is the 4000 bytes column. And this is the index, cluster index on this table. Sorry, I have to use this trading DB. In this trading DB, I will create the product table with clustered index on item ID. Now I will insert uh, some records on in this table. Uh, I will insert 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9 and uh, this records uh, and this is the ID which is the integer and then the, I will uh, insert some data in this description column and I will repeat this data 1000 times and this description value is DES1 and 1. So these are the f 1, 2, 3, 4 characters and uh, this 4 character will be repeated in the table for the 1000 times. So 1000 into 4, 4000 it will take the description will take 4000 bytes plus uh, integer will take 4 bytes so one on the one page uh, the one record will take 4000 plus 4 bytes so the page size is we know this it's a 1 kilobyte so on one and the header size of the page is 96 byte so almost two records we can accommodate on one page so these records i'm going to insert so one data page contains two records. So after insertion, if I will study this index structure, DBC index uh, IND on this table, I can find out the result like this. This is the page ID and this is the next page and this is the previous page. I will copy this data into the Excel sheet and then I will compare after ins uh, inserting the missing record So now I will go again. I will, I can see here that this 224 is the this is the page ID. It, this is important column. Next page ID. 
and the previous page ID. These are my concern columns and this is page type. We can see that the this only one is the this index uh, level page or other are one which is the data pages from 224. So the 224 page is the data page, leaf level page, and uh, the next page is the 226, and then 226 have the next page 227, 227 has the next page 228. So the pages logical order are and physical order are most same. And uh, after that, I will go again. And now I will insert the this missing records because the between five and seven, the data is missing. So now this is in this demo. Uh, these are the record records one two on page number on one page three four on another page and five seven another page and all are um, can, uh, this. Uh, by uh, logical order and physical order almost same and now when i will insert the record number six it will move the seven it will create a new page and the seven and records will move into that page and then there will be an empty space will be created and the six will be moved with this five and there still will be that there is a space so after insertion this one the uh, page split will occur a new page will be created and uh, there is the internal fragmentation will be happened. So let's see this one. This is the page number, uh, this ID6 I'm going to insert. It's added. So now again, I, if I will study this index structure, I will copy this one into that Excel sheet. And this is my concerned so here we can I can see there is a new page is created and this is a 229 page and uh, now if I can see that the 224 the next page is 226 is this okay and then the 226 6 has the next page is 227 and then 227 has this next page is 229 before it was the 228 but now the new page is created page is separated so half of the records from this page is moved to the 229 and so that now the logical next logical page of 227 is the 229 but the physical is the 228 so now logical order and physical order are disturbed uh, the law uh, is not matching so fragmentation is happened so this 227 when we uh, insert the record number six it's added here and thus thus before there is the seven record it's moved into another page which is the new page so the now the 227 has the next logical page is 229 and the 229 have the previous page is 228 so this this uh, order is um, um, uh, disturbed and the, now the physically that next page is 228 but logically is the next page is 229 so this is known as the fragmentation uh, external fragmentation we can also say and then the uh, this uh, space which is created within the pages is known as the internal fragmentation How much is the fragmentation, fragmentation is uh, in this index structure created? We can find by using this uh, DMV. Uh, this is the uh, from sys.dm underscore db index physical st stats. In this trading DB, we, we can find out. So 60% fragmentation. This is the average fragmentation in percentage. It, it shows the uh, logical fragmentation or external fragmentation which is now high uh, which uh, 60 percent mean it's very high and we have to uh, check and we have to maintain the this index structure and this the index fragmentation size in the pages this shows the internal fragmentation 